Yo, what up guys, it's your boy Snark Slark back for another video. This video is going to be about the top 5 most wanted places in South Africa as you guys have seen by clicking on this video. This video has learned me a lot about the history upon these places and I enjoyed making this video so I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. So for that, uh, let's stop wasting time and let's get right to the number 5 spot. Number 5. The Breitenbach Theater Pretoria It was established as a German club, but the building was then taken over by Emily Hobbels to create a weaving and craft school. It was turned into a temporary hospital to assist those affected by the tragic flu epidemic of 1918. Eventually, the Breitenbach Theater was established, which staged its first production in 1958. Today, the actors reportedly shared the stage with a more ephemeral figure, a nurse named Heather. The cellar below the stage once housed the bodies of those who succumbed to the flu in 1918. It is said that Heather oversaw the children who were admitted eventually succumbing to the disease herself. After her death, it is said she never left her post, patiently waiting to care for the any sick children that needs her. Investigators claim that they captured heavy poltergeist activities with objects manipulation, the sounds of a ghostly piano playing, children laughing and crying, and even the apparition of little children running around the stage. This includes an EVP of a voice saying help me, growling sounds and experienced feelings of being nausea and ill. Some of the investigators have, e have even been scratched and felt like they were being followed. Number 4. The Chimes Hotel Benoni The Chimes Hotel was a popular drinking and gambling place for miners during Johannesburg's gold rush. The site was part of a prospecting claim until 1889 when its owner George William Eaton decided to build the hotel. The grounds contained salvage relics from the time it was used as a camp during the Anglo-Boer War. One, one of its creepier fables is that the trees in the ground surrounding were, were used to hang prisoners. Visitors have reportedly ghostly sightings upstairs. The Linsfield House also has a small nature room which children would have used for studying science. It is filled with curious objects like exotic shells, skeletons and pieces of taxidermy. It also includes a preserved human fetus. Number 3. The Linsfield House Museum, Johannesburg In Auckland Park lies the Linsfield Victorian House. The house is a living monument to Johannesburg's high societal Victorian life presided over by Catherine Love, who has spent a lifetime collecting everyday objects from the era. We can confirm that this house is highly active and claims of activity vary from loud audible growls to being touched and scratched, feeling of becoming ill like nausea, dizziness, headaches, to name but a few. The Lynchwood House also has a small nature room which children would have used for studying science. It's filled with curious objects like exotic shells, skeletons and pieces of taxidermy. It also includes a preserved human fetus. Number 2. The Melrose House Museum, Pretoria Look no further than the haunted attic of the Melrose House Museum, a three-story Victorian mansion in Pretoria. Investigators that have visited the attic claims that they have been touched, pinched, pushed and experienced burning sensations down their backs as the attic was the most hostile part in the building. The 136-year-old mansion is layered in history, being the former home of George Hayes who made a fortune from a coach transporting business during the diamond rush in Kimberley. It was also the headquarters of the British soldiers during the Anglo-Boer War. The peace treaty of Reinigen that ended the war was signed on its dining room table. Yo guys, sorry for the interruption, but before that number one spot, remember to subscribe, turn on a little notification bell, leave a like, comment. Um, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this last one. 
um, I found this one the most creepiest of all. Um, so yeah, let's stop wasting time, so enjoy it. Number one. The Oratso Pretoria. The Oratso building is apparently a reach with paranormal activity. It is claimed that Paul Kruger owns this building along with his wife, Asina, often seen at her balcony. Strange voices and footsteps can also be heard in the prison cells below. Shadow people are seen and people have often reported being pushed and touched in the hallways. Guards also have plenty of stories to tell about their encounters with the ghosts here whilst they are doing the graveyard shifts. Allegedly, the head railings move on their own, the cars are a nice rattle and ghosts often descend the majestic staircase. The boarding according to statistics was an oppressive atmosphere in the holding cells below, and the occasional moaning can be heard. There was a report of an investigator that was also attacked by a growling negative unseen force in the hallway, which left a rancid smell in the room and held him paralyzed for a few minutes.